Okay, YouTubers, back with the wind turbine, the Aurora inverter, 6,000 watt wind settings. Got the interface box from Aurora, Power One slash Aurora. Uh, just wish these guys made these still. Anyway, I finish this up by putting PVC tubes in, wires in the correct place. The wind speed reference wires are attached in there. I then just clamp this because it's an indoor fitting, so there's no weather required for that. But I did put this in PVC, put the other wires that came in from the uh, tower, extended those all the way up to the 50 foot mark. Those are all in there, three phase. You got the uh, brake, one on there, one here for the uh, positive side, I guess. It's just the two brakes. I guess this is on a different block, this, this one block. So let's go to the brake, and this is your DC out, bulk DC out, and your negative out. So those go over here and come back inside the inverter. So that's all set up. This is earth ground. This actually has a ground rod outside, 10 footer or 8 footer into the ground with that to basically ground out the whole panel for the ground. This is my two. These are from both of those little cheesy ship box uh, Tessa units. I just stripped those things out. The only thing salvageable was these for the brake. I do have it up. This has a little light on the side here. If you happen to get the thing goes in a brake situation, it will light that up. Not that I'll see it because I'll be inside during weather, that kind of weather. So that's the update for now. I will finish up with the video on finishing the tower and putting that up to 55 feet up in the air.